When I first got truly invested in college football, Florida State's Myron Roll immediately garnered my attention as one who should be respected. Not only was he the starting safety for one of college football's best, at one point, <laughs> programs, he was also a Rhodes Scholar. Today, I tell that story from starting college football player to neurosurgeon. So if you didn't know, I really like history. AP US history was probably one of my better performing subjects in high school, as I generally did well overall, but history really uh, caught my attention. So I really liked going through the history of players. And when I saw Flimlo Raps do videos like these, I was like, whoa, this is actually really cool. So I wanted to kind of do my own thing. And I made a video about Sylvester Croom last year. But in honor of Black History Month, again, I'm gonna do another player here. And I just wanna start out by pointing out that Myron started all three of his years at Florida state he was a freshman all-american and racked up over 206 tackles in three years of college football he was also the acc freshman defensive player of the year now with that being said some of you may be wondering okay you mentioned Rhodes scholar what is the Rhodes scholars program so the Rhodes scholars are well the Rhodes scholarships are the most oldest and most celebrated international fellowship awards in the world each year 32 young students from the united states are selected as Rhodes scholars Rhodes scholars are chosen not only for their outstanding scholarly, scholarly achievements, but for their character, commitment to others and to the common good, and for their uh, potential for leadership in whatever domains their careers may lead. And I read that right from the website there. Myron Rowe won the Rhodes Scholarship in 2009, and then he enrolled in medical school. And then he did neurosurgery residency at the Harvard Medical School in Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. So I'm gonna walk you through how he kind of got there. So his parents are originally from the Bahamas, raised in New Jersey and went to high school in Princeton, New Jersey. He was highly inspired by athlete Bill Bradley um, and he was the number one high school prospect in the country by ESPN. He had 82 scholarship offers. The first thing he did was walk into the office and ask to be a Rhodes Scholar candidate and he graduated early in 2008 from Florida State. So he deferred an NFL career four year to earn a master's degree in medical anthropology at Oxford. So he graduated Florida State and we say three years, but when I dug into it, it's like two and a half. So, you know, two and a half, three years. And then he turned down the opportunity to go to the NFL to go study at Oxford. This guy's a bright young man and I love that. And then following his year of studying medical anthropology, he was drafted by the Tennessee Titans and he spent the year on the practice squad and he signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers after spending that time with the Titans, think about a couple years, and he was cut before the season started for the Steelers. But ultimately, he never played a regular season game in the NFL. And honestly, that was probably for his best. Why risk harming your brain with CTE when you're a future neurosurgeon? Now, interestingly enough, you may consider that, oh, well, he was a smart guy. He probably just wasn't good enough to play in the NFL. Not really. I mean, that's kind of an uncritical way of thinking in general because he made it to the NFL and he was drafted. So like, he obviously had potential, but here's something that he said um, there, and he was talking about NFL teams, sentiment was, you play very well, but there's other guys who will run through a wall for this. They need this, Roe recalled. We're not worried about you. You could go be president of the United States, but they need this. They're talking about other football players. I was like, how could you take this from me? They tell you all your life, be a student athlete, focus on your grades. So I do that, and because it gets attention, it becomes an issue. And I quoted that right from the website. Um, it seems like teams were worried about whether or not Myron wanted to play football because he did so well academically. And honestly, to me, that seems a bit backwards. What about you guys? I feel like they should have been celebrating that you had such a smart guy playing football, but they saw it as a hindrance. Now, interestingly enough, also, the Ravens and the Texans expressed interest in bringing him in, but he decided to go a different route. In 2013, he went back to Florida State for medical school, and then he graduated in May 2017 from medical school, and now he is in his seven-year residency in Boston. Uh, and here's another 
and I quote from a story here, he moved to Boston at the beginning of June, you know, um, of 2017, and he started his residency at Harvard Medical School's neurosurgery program at Massachusetts General Hospital on July 1st, 2017, which was his number one choice, by the way. So he got into his number one choice for residency. And so as of March 21st, 2017, he had already assisted in more than 200 surgeries. He's a dedicated guy. He stayed overtime to work on sutures after his first year of medical school so you can tell that he really wanted to perfect his craft and you can see why he was successful less than two years removed from his nfl career so i think that was back in like 2014 or 15 myron Rowe kept his hand steady as he helped remove the tumor bit by bit from a child's brain that's the type of guy who should be celebrated in history and now he's well over his second year in his residency and i wish him all the best um how many of you guys remember myron Rowe from his time at florida state and and uh yeah what did you think about him and, and what do you think about him now i'm just excited to see what the future holds for myron uh let me know what you think uh leave it in the comment section and let me know if you like this style of video because i like doing these and uh we can keep going i uh, see you for the next one and make sure to check out sylvester croon